welcome back to Metal Outlaw TV. This month on the show, we've got Attica Rage, and they're going to be talking to us about their CD and DVD. We'll be chatting to them soon. Stay tuned. Sup, how you doing? Uh, we've got Attica Rage on the show this month, and here's the guys here. How you doing? Hello. Hey, hey. We've got Colin, Richie, Johnny, and the Bell. Indeed. You have a new album out. We it came out in December. Mm -hmm. um, 88 miles an hour. 88 miles an hour. Um, Gratuitous product placement. This is your third full length album. How long did it take you guys? Well, we recorded it in four weeks and we got it mixed and massive within about another two weeks, so six weeks all around, which for us is a, a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> it did my first time. Did you guys feel any undue pressure or was it just something that was just natural, just banging out some tunes? It wasn't any pressure in the, the negative sense, but pressure. Definitely. Trying to rush in, remember everything, playing it all on time, remembering the sections for me personally, because <laughs> I tend to dream. <laughs> I have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, that it was. But for the first great. time, I think in a long time, we'd had a, we had a set deadline of recording, so we had to we had a set set finish time. That, that's the thing, it, it doesn't <clears> sound <throat> like it's been a rush job. I mean, yeah. It's, it's a beefy, meaty album. It, it sounds really, really good. Um, yeah, which is, oh, you're welcome. Um, Gotta get some money for saying that. What was the songwriting process? How did you sort of, was it stuff that you had kicking around or was it, did you go in with fresh ideas, that kind of thing? Pretty much for the majority of the stuff, was, it was written new. It was, it was pretty much all new stuff that we'd been kind of developing over the, the course of the year. I recorded it in uh, September, started recording it in September, so um, yeah, we pretty much went right all, all year round. Obviously with Colin Wilson joining us at the start of last year and then, uh, you know, a couple of songs of his and we're getting kind of working through his songs and our own stuff as well. And that took quite a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> That's for me. <laughs> so, there, was lot, there was quite a lot of preparation before we recorded it, but the actual recording process itself was, was very fast paced. And, and then, yeah. this, is, this, is, this is the third album from a, from a metal band. Looking back at classic albums, <laughs> Um, the third album is when you've got Master Puppets, Among the Living, Rain and Blood, that kind of thing. Is this the defining Attica album or is that yet to come? That's yet to come. I think it's yet to come. So this is my first album, I've still got to get to three. <laughs> 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 I'm to go. <laughs> the defining album will, will, will come. Shaky and Steven said the same thing as well, I remember. <laughs> it's Shaky's fourth album that was really good that Yeah, part. that's yeah. yeah. When, when, he had the jazz when he got into that green door, he was yeah. When he had the jazz flute on it, that was just... Yeah. I mean, that, that touched me emotionally, that was great. Um, the touring and stuff that you're going to have coming up, have you started working on number four, or are you concentrating and pimping this mother out? Well, I've started writing some stuff. Mm -hmm. I haven't sent it to the rest of them yet. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a DVD out as well just now. Yes, we do. A big meaty double disc and package. And again. Um, we're going to be putting that up for a competition uh, later on in the show, so stay tuned for that. But what's what's on it? A potted, a potted review of the DVD? Yeah, it's it's the full length uh, classic grand concert from 2011 of the, the Road Dog album performing full with special guests. Intercut with the best bits of the documentary that had been filmed over the whole making of Road Dog and the touring of it. And then a whole disc of second extras, extra live tracks, uh, music videos, videos, Bell's charity boxing match, Big C sings karaoke, <laughs> <laughs> and, and lots more. All in a two disc package. <laughs> are, you, are you signed? Are you doing the boxing thing this year? And it's all signed. Don't know. I've not heard anything about you're it. You're not going to get up and train and just pound somebody like you did the last time? This man wants to take me on. I don't know why. He wants to take my crown. <laughs> I just want to prove it. And I'm, got, I'm taking your After 8 record as well. No, that, that's, that that's record's going to live. It's the dawning of a new era. <laughs> um, thanks for coming in, guys. Anytime it's been a pleasure as always. Well. Take care. Ciao. Welcome to Metal Outlaw Cuisine. Today in the show we're going to show you how to cook some heavy food for some post-show scrattery. That's right, see? Nothing better after a long, hard day of metal. This dish is called Entree de Sandman. 
and is perfect for your post-show needs before you hit the hay and meet the old man himself. First of all, you're going to want to chop up an onion. Good job! Top tip for cutting an onion. Best to use a knife. Absolutely do not use a hammer. Next you're going to want to grate some cheese. I prefer a nice strong cheddar in my, my uh, Entree de Sandman, but if you want something milder, I'd go with a Lerdemar or an Edam. Uh, but never use cream cheese like Kabok. Uh, it's not very good for omelettes, but it's awesome name for a metal band. Use a sharp, slim knife when cutting your cheese, as a wider blade will cause the cheese to stick to the knife. Hmm. Absolutely do not use a hammer. Dude, respect the cheese! Cheese massacre! Now my hammer won't be dirty for days. Now there's a couple of options here. I mean, you can either cook it up omelette style, or you can just whack it all in a fucking sandwich. Sandwiches! We're gonna do this bad boy omelette style. What you wanna do is you wanna crack some eggs into a bowl, whisk them up until the air bubbles appear on the top, and this will make sure you've got a nice fluffy texture at the end. What? Oh God, he's such a child. It really is. This is impossible. I can't work like this. You're going to want to get a frying pan and put on medium heat to put in some butter. Now place the onion in the pan till it starts to brown and then add the egg and put the cheese on top. Now lower the temperature so that nothing burns. If you want you can add a dash of Worcester sauce, some salt and pepper just for flavour. While that's cooking, listen up to the solo and damage ink bike Metallica, as that's the perfect amount of time to let this cook. Cooked! Cooked! <laughs> okay, serve, consume, enjoy, go to bed. And most importantly, don't forget to turn your cooker off or you'll burn to death in your bed and we'll get fucking blame for you dying. <laughs> yeah, dicks. Twat. Do you like free shit? If so, it's time for our competition. <laughs> At Courage have kindly given us three signed copies of their new DVD, Road Dog Forever. All you have to do to get one is subscribe to our YouTube channel and answer the following question. In which US state is Attica Prison located? Leave a comment after you subscribe. We'll let you know next month who won the DVDs. Next up, we have Attica Rage. They're going to be playing Beyond Forever from their new album, 88 Miles an Hour. Yeah!
you enjoy that? That's us for another episode, guys. Don't forget to enter the Attica competition. Get yourself a copy of the DVD. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Metal!